I filmed like a good four minutes and my lighting wasn't fully on. But what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Alt here. If this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today we have an unboxing of well you could see in the title, but and this is not that's the that's the new box. This is the original box. This is the Yeezy Boost Bread 350 V2. Yeah. Bread colorway. That came out this December. So if you're interested in looking at these compared to the originals and my little story time on how I hate FedEx, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna take this box. This is the new box. Okay, um, Quick story time. This isn't my pair. This right here. This isn't my pair. Um, I got my pair off a of Yeezy supply. And they said they were delivered yesterday by FedEx. They they weren't delivered. They weren't here. No attempt. I just got a notification. Hey, it was delivered at this time. I had no knock at the door. Nothing. Checked out my door, no package. So I called them. They're trying to get in contact with the station. This, that, the third. That was yesterday on Monday. Today is Tuesday. I don't know when this video will go up, but yeah. Today, when FedEx knocked, I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, my pair. And I ripped the box open. I put the shoes on out of excitement. I look at the box and it says a five and a half. And I'm confused because I ordered mine in the five. And I look at the packing slip and it's not my pair. It's my sister's pair. So I immediately came crashing down and I just saw a message like just now pop up from my friend saying his pair got stolen too so that's great that's great I need my money back period point blank I just want my money back or the shoes but I have someone I could get a pair from for retail it's very kind but um yeah I hate FedEx I don't understand they deliver me boxy charms I have two different boxes, so FedEx delivers to me twice every single month without a problem. And now, my shoe's missing? Sorry. No. No. Very unhappy. But I was like, you know what? I have this pair here. Sister was kind enough to let me film with it, even though I already through them on so you know the harm was already done i'm gonna clean them up before i release them to her um so yeah i did my hair put on makeup and was like you know what let's just film the video my pearl will come when it comes so yeah here we are so this is the bread 350 v2 of 2020 the restock Here's the, you know, iconic, simple, regular box, cardboard box. Again, size five, core black and red, full tab with the paper, you know, it's regular, nothing new there. And that's, it's the same thing as the OG box, it's a box right here, same, very same thing. My box is a little beat up, has a sticker so I know it's a bread, and the info there. Again, mine's a size 5. Well, my personal pair. The OG pair is a size 5. This pair in, the pair we're talking about now is 5 and a half, and it's up. Mine! This pair I think she got from the Adidas app, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, these retail for 
$220 before shipping or taxes. It came out December 5th, 2020. The original pair came out February 2017. And if you didn't watch my sneaker wish list, I did mention how these are my very first pair of Yeezys. My first pair of like hype shoes were Royal Ones and I got them for resale off StockX. And then my very first pair of Yeezys were these, well the original pair. I got them off the Confirmed app when you had to like, you know when you had to do this on the Confirmed app? Yeah, that's when I, that's the time of when I got these. And I was very excited, so excited. I think I picked them up at Spring Street in Soho, New York City. You know Spring Street. If you know, you know. Sneakers back then, like the whole reseller market for sneakers was a little bit smaller and releases were a lot smaller, a lot more limited. These are one of the first colorways of the 350 v2 I'm pretty sure like one of the very first i know there was like beluga 1.0 and i don't even remember what else let me google that so they weren't the first it was beluga 1.0 in september 2016 then the stripe pairs copper red stripe and the green stripe in november 2016 the oreo white stripe december 2016 and then the breads in February 2017. So one of the very first pairs, and these were very, very limited when they came out. They were so hard to get this time around, but back then it was even harder and resell during that time. Very high. <laughs> my pair, like my size five was worth almost a thousand at some point. I know I definitely saw it at like 900 and change. I don't know if it reached a thousand or over. Pretty sure it did. Wouldn't be surprised. But these were very, very high up there. They started going down, of course, when it was leaked, they would restock. Pretty sure Yeezy Mafia leaked it last year and they tried to shut it down. Like the Adidas team tried to shut it down that it wasn't restocking and then they leaked it again. Leaked it again. That would be restocking, so resale started to go down. These are under four hundred dollars now. Pretty sure my size, definitely in bigger sizes. They're like three fifty. It isn't too bad for this pair. This pair was like it. This pair was it <laughs> back then. But yeah, here it is. I mean, we see why. It's a very simple shoe. It's just an all black prime knit upper with the matching black midsole and the boost technology look at that clean boost I, I really don't want to show you my pair because I didn't clean it in preparation for this video and it doesn't look like that it doesn't look like that at all boosts are very very comfortable boost sneakers are very very comfortable and we have the black heel top with the um red stitching on it that matches the red supply 350 iconic stitching on the 350s but yeah this is the shoe very very simple very clean but let me show you my pair so this is the new pair of course oh my god almost in myself what do we think can you tell if I'm being completely honest, I can't tell that much of a difference between them. This one seems a little bit blacker, but it could just be because it's fresh and new. These so... Mm, I'm really looking at it to see the difference. Like really looking at it. This sole seems a little bit chunkier. What do you guys think? That's definitely thicker. Am I crazy? Or is it just dirty and I'm bugging out? I feel like this is a little bit thicker of a sole around this area. You tell me, what do you think? 
feel like there are slight structural differences between the shoes and a lot of those differences occur in this sole. <gasps> I've had these for three years. You want them to be like this? No, absolutely not. Let's be real. Like I barely even see a difference in the pattern they use for the prime knit because sometimes they switch up the pattern of the prime knit. I feel like this is a little bit more blacker. Could just be wear on these that they don't look as black anymore. Can I, I can barely tell. I can barely tell anything has changed on these, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, I don't have the insoles in mine. Sorry. I take out my insoles. I don't know. Don't, don't pay too much attention to that. Yeah. I could bet. Oh, also it could be a little bit thicker because these are a half size bigger. That could be part of it. But in all honesty, you guys, very little difference. And that could be a very good thing because when the 500s just came out i didn't get a pair of those i have the og <laughs> i just didn't feel like i needed a new pair of those but i know people that did get it that also have the og pair because they wanted to get a fresh pair and they could tell i don't want to say big differences but significant differences in the shoe difference in 3m or like slight structural changes in the shoe and they feel like it's just not the same as the OG like it's not as good as the OG and that they fit differently I can't tell you if these fit differently because I got the wrong size mate and that's it's not my bear it's not my size but I feel like they do fit the same as the OG pair the 500 utility black restock just isn't as good as the original, but I can sit here and conf confidently tell you these are just as good as the original release. I don't see any significant changes whatsoever. And I originally got these because, well, the restocks pair, because I'll have to sneeze. Achoo! Thank you, if you said bless you. Um, I originally wanted the restocked pair because when I got static blacks, I put those side by side to these, like a static on one foot and my original breads on the other foot. And I felt like there were slight differences in the structure in terms of like how this sole looked that I thought I would like to have these in like a little updated version. Now, there's no update. I just feel like with my wear and tear of the sneaker, they didn't look as structured as they do fresh. You know what I mean? So if anything, they're a little bit better in my opinion, but it could just be that it's a fresh pair, in all honesty. Could just be that it's a nice, clean, fresh pair. And they're beautiful. Period. So, yeah, that's really it. I guess I'll be doing on feeds. I didn't really think of like what pants to wear with these to do on feet. But we'll see. We'll see what I come up with, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if FedEx has ever stolen one of your packages. Let me know. Let's, let's rant. Let's rant because I know they've done it to someone out there. I know they've done it to one of you. I know they have one of you at the least okay let's be honest yeah also in the comments down below let me know if you got the OGs and these or just one or the other let me know is this something you tried to get you try to cop perfect release for Christmas time honestly I'm I love them they're just we just they're just a great shoe Hence why 
I bought them again. <laughs> the shoe has to be special for someone to purchase another pair. I'm keeping my OGs because they are very sentimental to me. My very first pair. And I thought like it would be nice to have a fresh one of my very first pair. They're just very special to me. And I will keep them forever and ever. Probably. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Comment. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy. I post all the time, basically. And I'm very close to 500 subs. So please, please subscribe. It'll make me so happy. And it'll be a great Christmas gift from you to me. By subscribing and getting me to 500 subs then I'll be doing a giveaway if you like me and you like this video share it to a friend one friend all your friends Instagram Twitter I link all my socials down below I link my website down below if you're interested in each other's treasure box which is my very own makeup mystery box I almost forgot what I say um, yeah I'm also sorry about the windbreaker choice it was a choice and I hope it wasn't too distracting. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye. I better get my pair.